Question number 141. You are building an app that will enable users to upload images. The solution must meet the following requirements. Automatically suggest all text for the images. Minimize development effort. You need to recommend a computer vision endpoint for the above requirement. What should you recommend? Option A, Option B, Option C. The correct answer is Option C. This Computer Vision Analyze API endpoint provides image analysis features, including generating a description of the image, which is suitable for automatically suggesting all text. It requires minimal development effort since it is pre-built and ready to use without custom training. Question number 142. You are building an app that will enable users to upload images. The solution must meet the following requirements. Detect inappropriate images and block them. Minimize development effort. You need to recommend a computer vision endpoint for the above requirement. What should you recommend? Option A, Option B, Option C, Option D. The correct answer is Option A. This endpoint is part of Azure Content Moderator, designed specifically to detect inappropriate or offensive images such as adult or racy content. It minimizes development effort by providing built-in moderation capabilities without needing to train a custom model. Question number 143. You have an Azure AI search solution and an enrichment pipeline that performs sentiment analysis on social media posts. You need to define a knowledge store that will include the social media post and the sentiment analysis result. Which two fields should you include in the definition? Option A. Storage Container Option B. Storage Connection String Option C. Files Option D. Tables Option E. Objects the correct answers are Option A Storage Container Option D Tables Define a knowledge store in an Azure AI Search Enrichment Pipeline. You need to specify how and where to store the output. The storage container identifies the Azure Blob storage container used to persist the enriched data. The tables field is used to define structured data projections such as sentiment scores or other analysis results which are useful for querying or further processing. Question number 144. You are planning the product creation project. You need to recommend a process for analyzing videos. Which four actions should you perform in sequence? 1. Index the video by using the Azure Video Analyzer for Media, previously Video Indexer API. 2. Upload the video to Blob Stories. 3. Analyze the video by using the Computer Vision API. 4. Extract the transcript from Microsoft Stream. 5. Send the transcript to the Language Understanding API as an utterance. 6. Extract the transcript from the Azure Video Analyzer for Media, previously Video Indexer API. 7. Translate the transcript 
by using the Translator API. 8. Upload the video to file stories. Option A, 2, 1, 7, 6. Option B, 8, 1, 6, 7. Option C, 2, 1, 6, 7. Option D, 2, 6, 1, 7. The correct answer is Option C, 2, 1, 6, 7. First, upload the video to Blob Stories, which is compatible with Azure Video Analyzer input. Then, index the video using Azure Video Analyzer for Media, Step 1, which extracts insights like transcripts. Next, extract the transcript from the Azure Video Analyzer API, Step 6. Finally, translate the transcript using the Translator API, Step 7. This sequence ensures proper video processing, transcript extraction and translation. Question number 145. You are developing an internet-based training solution for remote learners. Your company identifies that during the training, some learners leave their decks for long periods or become distracted. You need to use a video and audio feed from each learner's computer to detect whether the learning is present and paying attention. The solution must minimize development effort and identify each learner. Which Azure Cognitive Services service should you use the following requirement? From a learner's video feed, verify whether the learner is present. Option A, face. Option B, speech. Option C, text analytics. The correct answer is option A, face. To verify whether a learning is present using their video feed, the face API is the correct service. It can detect and track human faces in images or video streams, making it suitable for identifying whether a person is physically present in front of the camera. It also supports face recognition to help identify individual learners if needed. This minimizes development effort since the API provides built-in face detection capabilities. Just a quick reminder, if you don't have time to watch these videos and instead download all questions and answers, feel free to purchase them on Buy Me A Coffee page. I have shared the link below. Question number 146. You are developing an internet-based training solution for remote learners. Your company identifies that during the training, some learners leave their takes for long periods or become distracted. You need to use a video and audio feed from each learner's computer to detect whether the learner is present and paying attention. The solution must minimize development effort and identify each learner. Which Azure Cognitive Services service should you use? The following requirement. From a learner's facial expression in the video feed, verify whether the learner is paying attention. Option A, face. Option B, speech. Option C, text analytics. The correct answer is option A, face. To determine if a learner is paying attention based on facial expressions, the Azure Face API is the appropriate service. It includes facial expression analysis, such as detecting emotions like happiness, sadness, surprise, and neutrality, which can be used to infer attention levels. 
Although it doesn't directly label attention, a combination of face presence, gaze direction, and emotion metrics can help approximate attentiveness with minimal development effort. Question number 147. You are developing an internet-based training solution for remote learners. Your company identifies that during the training, some learners leave their decks for long periods or become distracted. You need to use a video and audio feed from each learner's computer to detect whether the learner is present and paying attention. The solution must minimize development effort and identify each learner. Which Azure Cognitive Services service should you use the following requirement? From a learner's audio feed, detect whether the learner is talking. Option A, face. Option B, speech. Option C, text analytics. The correct answer is option B, speech. To detect whether a learner is talking based on your audio feed, the Azure Speech API is the most appropriate service. Specifically, the Speech to Text and Voice Activity Detection VAD features allows you to analyze the audio feed and detect when someone is speaking. This helps in identifying whether the learner is actively participating in the conversation or session. Question number 148. You have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure AI document intelligence resource named DI1. You create a PDF document named taste.pdf that contains tabular data. You need to analyze taste.pdf by using DI1. You need to complete the following command. What should you choose for placeholder 1? Option A. Rebuild contract. Option B. Rebuild document. Option C. Rebuild layout. Option D. Rebuild read. The correct answer is option C. Pre-built layout. This model is designed to analyze documents and extract structural information such as tables, text, and other layout elements. Since the document contains tabular data, using the pre-built layout model will allow you to extract the tables and their content accurately. Question number 149. You have an Azure subscription that contains Azure AI document intelligence resource named DI1. You create a PDF document named taste.pdf that contains tabular data. You need to analyze taste.pdf by using DI1. You need to complete the following command. What should you choose for placeholder 2? Option A, G1. Option B, OCP dash APIM dash subscription dash key. Option C, secret. Option D, subscription dash key. The correct answer is option B, OCP dash APIM dash subscription dash key. This is the header used to authenticate API calls to Azure services, including Azure AI Document Intelligence. The value for this key is the subscription key associated with your Azure Document Intelligence resource. Question number 150. You are building a language learning solution. You need to recommend which Azure service can be used to perform the following task. 
analyze lesson plans submitted by teachers and extract key fields such as lesson times and required text. The solution must minimize development effort. Which Azure service should you recommend? Option A Azure Cognitive Search. Option B Azure AI Custom Vision. Option C Azure AI Document Intelligence. Option D Immersive Reader. The correct answer is Option C Azure AI Document Intelligence. Azure AI Document Intelligence is designed to extract key data from documents including text, tables, and fields. It is ideal for analyzing lesson plans submitted by teachers and extracting specific fields like lesson times and required text with minimal development effort. This service provides pre-built models for many types of documents or you can train custom models based on your needs.